Have you ever thought why some people are highly successful in the biotech and pharma industry while others struggle? Many students come to me and say, I have all the expertise, all the skill set, still I am failing. Then probably we need to buckle up and strengthen these 21 skill set, which I am going to tell you today. Now, these are non-core biotech skill sets, which will help you in any job which you will take in any industry, not just biotech and pharma industry. So let's get started. Welcome back. So now let us list out some of the best non-core biotechs and pharma skill set. In fact, a regular skill set which you will need to be successful in your life. Now, these are not skills like, you know, chromatography, uh, flow cytometry and stuff. Those are technical skills. These are soft skills which you must have to be successful in any industry. In fact, it can help you get into any industry. Okay. So these are like superpowers if you have. So the first one which I have for you is the ability to negotiate. Now, many students, many professionals lack this ability. Like, okay, they landed the interview and when they have to really negotiate about the salary, they lack the negotiation skills. So many of them will uh, lack negotiating while they are, you know, in a team meeting or while they're trying to convince their supervisor or during your PhD also, when you are trying to convince your supervisor, you will face these problems. So the ability to negotiate is a very strong ability and you must strengthen it. The second ability which you which will give you superpower is the ability to convey what you think and what you feel. Now, whenever you are going to work in whichever company or whichever lab or whichever organization, obviously you have to communicate. Now, communication has several formats, but the most important formats is obviously verbal communication like I'm talking to you right now. So your ability to be able to use the right words to convey your thoughts in the language which is internationally acceptable, which is English, is very, very important. Now, many of us are very comfortable in other language like Hindi or Tamil or Telugu or Kannada or uh, Malayalam, but we are not comfortable in the English language conveying our thoughts and that is where if we don't use the right words probably it can go wrong and we will feel that why did we achieve failure but actually it was the words which we used so this is the third the second point which I wanted to make is ability to convey what you think and what you feel now the third superpower skill which you can have is ability to break a process down into smaller steps so whenever you will do an experiment in a lab or there is a problem statement which comes to you or any research you're doing you have you should have this ability to break that particular process into smaller milestones and smaller steps and achieving those steps slowly and measuring those steps whether you are achieving or not so that's your third superpower ability to break a process into smaller steps the next one is very important according to me and that is the ability to listen okay a very good speaker is a good listener, okay? So if you want to become a good speaker, you have to first become a good listener. So ability to listen and learn from others, okay? Because if we don't do that, we cannot grow. I am able to make this video because I could listen to so many experts, right? And then I listen, I assimilate, I think about it, and then I make a better version of it, and then I communicate. So that's very, very important here. The next one is ability to adapt, improvise and overcome obstacles. Now, whenever we are working, we will face several situations, right? We should have the ability to adapt to the situation. We should be able to innovate and improvise on the current situation and we should be able to overcome the obstacles whichever we will face. So this is your fifth um, superpower which you can have which will definitely help you in grow in your career the next one the sixth one is the ability to read understand memorize and interpret now what happens when you are um, doing a science experiment or what happens during your organizational meetings you will have to read through a lot of reports you'll have to understand a lot of data you'll have to interpret that data 
and you will have to memorize important key metrics, right? So that is how you will be able to convey better. So yeah, that's a superpower which you can have. The next one is the seventh superpower is the ability to walk away. Now, when you will work in an organization or a lab, you will find a lot of unpleasant people, people who whom you will probably hate to speak to. So you should have this ability to walk away from them and stay away and focus on what matters to you. So that's your superpower number seven. Now, the eighth superpower which you can have is ability to manage your time effectively. I have created a course for that already. Time management and productivity are your superpowers because in less time, if you're able to do more, then, then that is when you can beat anybody and everybody in this world. Okay, so ability to manage time effectively is your superpower skill set number eight. Now, skill set number nine, which you must have is ability to stay positive and optimistic. Now, do you think I can make this video even if I will I feel like making this video if I'm not positive and optimistic? No, I can cannot. Same with you. When you see the, our body is full of water and our head is full of emotions. Now, emotions many a times guide our decisions. Emotions many a times guide our actions, but we should have an ability to control our emotions, stay positive and optimistic. That's a superpower which you can have, which you can build that will help you in your career. Now, the superpower number 10 or the skill set number 10, which I want to give you is ability to make a decision based on facts and not on emotions. Now, what really happens? Like I said, your body is full of water, your brain is full of emotions. Now, if you make a decision based on emotions, not based on facts and data, then you will make a, possibly a wrong decision. And when you make wrong decisions, you will have to pay a price for the decisions you made. So you have to make decisions based on facts and not on emotions. So that's your superpower or ability number 10. Now moving ahead to ability number 11 is ability to speak in front of a large audience. Now, as a scientist, as a professor, as a science communicator or whatever job you will take in the future, you have to communicate. But probably many a times it will be in the la in front of a large audience. Now, if it is in front of a large audience, what will happen? You will feel jittery. You will feel nervous if you don't have a practice. So you should develop this practice, this ability to be able to speak in front of a large audience, whether it is 5,000 or 50,000, you should be comfortable because that is how you will become a great leader of the biotech and pharma industry. So I have created a course for that, for speaking skills for students and research scientists. The link is given in the description. You can check that out. Moving ahead, the next one is ability to keep trying even after failure, right? I think that's an inbuilt inherent ability which we all should have, especially when you are into research because research is all about failures. Research is all about trying, failing, trying, failing. Somebody asked Edison, so congratulations, you discovered or you, uh, you know, made a light bulb, invented a light bulb. He said, I didn't just invent the light bulb. I also found 10,000 other ways of how not to make a light bulb, right? So exactly this is what happens. Iceberg above the water is visible. Below is the real work, right? Below the water is the real work. So that's what you have to do. Ability to keep trying even after failure. Point number 12. Point number 13 is ability to invest your time and energy in the right direction. Now, as a student, as a scientist, as a professional, your currency is not money. Money is a byproduct of your success. But your currency is your time and your focus. Now, you have to, you know, go in the, or, you know, go in organized focus in a particular direction and consistently work on it. And this is superpower. Trust me, it's a superpower. And this is a magical superpower. Okay. Now, the next one, which is the 14th one for you, is ability to do things irrespective of the situation. Right now, that's where it is called as in Gita, it is called as Nishkam Karma Yoga. Irrespective of what results you may get, irrespective of whatever is happening, the world is gonna end, doesn't matter. You still focus on one bad thing and keep doing it. So, that's an amazing ability because in life, you will have a personal life, you will have a professional life, you will have a life in between these two, a commuting life, and then what happens is you will be disturbed by a lot of things which will happen on the way to office or lab which will happen in the personal life, which, which can happen in the lab. Now, if you have this ability to do things irrespective of whatever the situation, that's like a superpower. It's a godly superpower. Okay, So you can adapt that early in your 
professional life. The next one, which I think is very important, is ability of self-analysis. Now, if you are able to analyze yourself, you will be able to find what is your strength and you will be able to find what is your weakness. Now, whatever is your strength, you can strengthen it further and whatever is your weakness, you can plug it to become even more stronger. That's amazing ability again. So 15th point for you is ability for self-analysis. The next point for you is ability to learn how to learn. You know, um, I have seen a lot of students and a lot of professionals they are not able to focus and read one paragraph also because of the smartphone era and the Instagram and TikTok and all that and con continuous scroll scroll scrolling their uh, you know, attention span is less than seven seconds. They can't read for long. They can't focus for long. They can't talk for long. So why that's happening? Because their ability to learn is lost. And the day our ability to learn is lost, we cannot learn new things. We cannot update our knowledge. And that's how... The economy will make us a robot. Okay. If you don't want to become a robot, then learn this ability on how to learn. Okay. The next one is ability. That's the 17th one. Ability to understand what others feel. Now, like I said, humans are emotional beings. So if I said, okay, I'm an emotional person, you're an emotional person. So how I communicate to you and in what tone, in what manner, what words, what choice of words I have. That will have an amazing impact on the other person and that person will decide whether to help me or not. And that's what is networking skill. So if you have the ability to understand what others feel, then you will be able to get things done from them. That's a superpower again, right? And that's actually a leadership quality. Okay. The next one is ability to remain consistent. So yeah, consistency is required everywhere to be able to keep doing, 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 doing small, small tasks every day irrespective of what's happening around. So that's very, very important. That's ability number 18. Now coming to ability number 19, which is ability to master your thoughts. You know, while I was uh, uh, making this video, okay, so I've written the pointers in my mobile. A lot of other thoughts came, but make this video successful. I have to make sure that I will master my thoughts and focus on one thing, which is all the pointers which I want to convey today, right? So we should have this ability to master our thoughts because Mind has got two horses. One is black, one is white. The white horse is the positive side. The black horse takes us to the negative side. Now, if you demand the negative horse to run for you, it will bring in all the negative things. But if you demand the positive horse to work for you, run for you, you'll always bring positive thoughts and you'll be able to deliver better results. So that's a super ability, 19, number, uh, number 19. Now, ability number 20 is ability to write words to persuade and influence others. Now. You, uh, when you will work, you will have to write letters, emails, drafts um, to your superiors, right? Or to your juniors to request something, right? Probably in WhatsApp or chat nowadays. So, you know, when you write convincing words, that's where you get job done, right? So your ability to, you know, write words and to persuade people and influence them will get your jobs faster than others. So that's a superpower again, isn't it? The last one is... Ability to help and ask for help. Now, many people feel that, no, no, I'll be self-made. So I will not ask for help. That is a myth. See, nobody in this world is self-made. We all took help of our teachers, our gurus, our parents, our family members, right? Our friends. So what is the harm in asking for help? Nobody is self-made here. We all depended on others to become what we are today, right? Otherwise, we were just a, you know, um, crawling toddler, right? The society taught us how to become what we are today. So there's no harm in asking. So this is your superpower. This is your super ability to help others and to ask for help. So these are these are the 21 pointers which I wanted to give to help you analyze, help you empower yourself into the biotech industry. These are non-core skills. Probably this will not be helpful in your technical job, but it will help you in the job. It will help you become a successful person irrespective of whether you work in a biotech industry, pharma industry, or wherever. Thank you so much for meeting me today and discussing all these pointers. I loved interacting with all of you. Please comment down whatever thoughts you have right now because I think I can add more pointers in my next video if I can get your peace of mind too. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.